So here and we there's are. something oh. very nice about being a grandmother because you 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 slot into a place that is basically non-controversial. Who could be against a grandmother? No matter what she's saying. And that's and I mean, we we that showing up, we are often appreciated just for our age, mm -hmm. but which it doesn't right. always happen to grandmothers. Um, but in bunches with yellow shirts. Yes, I mean it makes it makes it makes, it makes a big statement. Yes. Well, I was a medical student in the mid '60s, and we rotated through gynecology. And we went up to the ward, and the wards were very different then. I mean, it was just open, huge room, with beds that way and beds that way. And we went from bed to bed. She's in for a septic abortion. She's in for a septic abortion. She's in for a septic abortion. And they're just right down the line. And these were people who had their own induced abortion or illegal abortions, and they were septic, which is really blood poisoning. And some of them were critically ill. And I thought to myself, wow, and I said, this is a real public health crisis. And so the slang was the coat hanger. The coat hanger, exactly. First of all, we're talking about things that for most, for all of us, we could not talk about. Mm -hmm. That's right. You couldn't talk about sex, pregnancy, contraception, abortion, nothing. I was one of those girls that were sent away, you know, that mm -hmm. sort of just disappeared yeah. from society for a certain... I don't even know what my parents said, where I went. I remember there was one time when I thought I was pregnant. I wasn't, it turned out. But the only option that I thought I had was to go away. Yeah. I didn't know where that was going to be. I right. thought it was Alaska yeah. for some reason. But When I got pregnant, um, it was like I wasn't supposed to tell my brother because we had that history of silence. Mm -hmm. No. We have to say things out loud so that we can confront the problems that we have. Well, I, I think that people nowadays don't realize what a life-threatening issue it is. Because when abortion is illegal, women are still going to get abortions. That's right. right. That's and, and, and what do yeah. they resort to? They resort to whatever they can find. And even now, with medical abortions, taking a pill for an abortion as opposed to having some kind of surgery, mm -hmm. That can be done wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. And or yes. incomplete. Yes. And then the woman gets afraid to go into the hospital because she knows she's bleeding too much, but she doesn't want to go in and have them say, "Well, you have an illegal abortion," and then there be some penalty that she mm -hmm. has to pay for that. Right. 